solve. So to solve adding mixed fractions, one way we can do it is convert each mixed number into an improper fraction. We do that by multiplying the denominator times the whole number, 10 times 9 is 90, and then adding the numerator, 10 times 9 is 90, plus 9 more is 99. The denominator always stays the same. 5 times 2 gives us 10, plus 3 more gives us 13. Denominator stays the same. Now we need to find a least common denominator between 10 and 5. The least common denominator between 10 and 5 is 10. So 99 over 10 is going to stay the same. We have to multiply by 2 to get a denominator of 10. So 13 times 2 becomes 26. Now we can add. 99 plus 26 equals 125 over 10. Because this is an improper fraction, we need to convert it to a mixed number. 10 goes into 125. 12 times, which equals 120. We subtract that from the numerator to get our new numerator, which is 5. Denominator always stays the same. So we have 12 and 5 tenths. The last step is to simplify. 5 over 10 can be simplified to 1 half. So the final answer is 12 and 1 half. Another way to solve this problem would be to line up your whole numbers and line up your fractions. Find the least common denominator between your fractions, which would be 10. So this fraction would stay the same. This one you would multiply by 2 to get 6 over 10. When you add your fractions, you get 15 over 10. When you add your whole numbers, you get 11 and 15 over 10. 15 over 10 can be rewritten as 1 and 5 over 10. Now that we have two whole numbers, 11 and 1, we can combine them to make 12 and 5 over 10. Lastly, 5 over 10 can be simplified to 12 and 1 half. Solve 9 and a half minus 1 and 4 fifths. So first we can convert each mixed fraction into an improper fraction by doing 9 times 2, which gives us 18, and 18 plus 1 gives us 19. Denominator stays the same. Minus 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 more gives us 9. Denominator stays the same. Now we need to find a least common denominator between 2 and 5. Least common denominator would be 10. To get from 2 to 10, we multiply by 5, so we have to also multiply the numerator by 5. This gives us 95 over 10. To get from 5 to 10, we multiply by 2, so we also multiply the numerator by 2, and we get 18 over 10. Now we can subtract. 95 minus 18, we borrow to get 15 and 8. We get 77 over, denominator always stays the same, 10. Now the last step is to convert this to a mixed fraction. 10 goes into 77 7 times, which equals 70, and we're left with 7 over denominator stays the same. Another way to do this would be to line up your whole numbers and line up your fractions. Now we need to find the least common denominator between the fractions. We have to multiply by 5 and we get 5 over 10. Multiply by 2 and we get 8 over 10. Now we can't subtract 8 over 10 from 5 over 10, so we have to borrow from the whole number. So I'm going to take 1 from the whole number, and if I'm adding 1 whole to this fraction, the denominator is 10, 1 whole would be 10 over 10, which would make this fraction 15 over 10. And if I bring this over, 8 over 10, now we can subtract them. 15 over 10 minus 8 over 10 gives us 7 over 10. Now we can subtract our whole numbers. 8 minus 1 gives us 7.